Happy Monday morning. I'm Pete, the Life Group Pastor here at Calvary, and I'm glad that you are starting off your week with us. Let me ask you a question. What do you do when you cross paths with a person that is begging on the side of the road? Maybe they're holding a sign asking for gas money or food. We've all had multiple opportunities to deal with this type of situation. And today's psalm encourages us to take these encounters very seriously. Today's psalm is Psalm 41, and verses 1 through 2 say this, Blessed is the one who considers the poor. In the day of trouble, the Lord delivers him. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive. He is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. So it starts out saying, blessed is the one who considers the poor. Consider the poor. That's what God is asking us. Consider them. Think about them. Ponder how you can help. Let me tell you a few stories about how I've wrestled with this because it really isn't easy. I, I went to seminary at Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, and wherever I travel in the city, there were people asking for money. Some of my professors would always carry dollar bills with them, and whenever they were asked, they gave a dollar. Others would only give money to people that were in a work program. Several folks on the street sold simple newspapers and ads as part of a poverty alleviation program in the inner city. I don't know which of these was the best policy, but at least all of my professors were considering the poor. When my wife and I were first married, we drove clunkers. We often experienced breakdowns, and one day while we were about two hours from home, our car overheated, and we were stranded at an Arco waiting for the car to cool down. And while we waited with the car hood up in obvious distress, someone came up and asked us for gas money. We thought it was ironic, but I still chose to buy them some gas. I went into the gas station and made sure they could continue on their journey. In another situation, I had people who were raising donations for impoverished kids approach me as I walked out of a local store. I listened to their plea for aid, but I just politely said that I couldn't help today because I already sponsor some children through Compassion International. I had already designated funds to be used for the poor in that situation. And I was ensuring that the organization that I was supporting was aligned with my values and that Jesus Christ would be a part of the solution to the poverty. I tell you these stories not to brag because I know that there have been multiple times when I've probably failed to follow this Psalm. But I just want to encourage you to consider the poor Think about how to help, consider their need, and always consider their greatest spiritual need to know Jesus. I hope you take time today to read the rest of Psalm 41 and then consider the poor. Of course, you can always join Calvary's various ministries that are geared towards poverty, like our benevolence ministry or sponsoring a child through Compassion International. Or you might wanna join and support the Baja Mexico mission trip that's happening at the end of April. God promises a blessing if we will consider the poor, and I hope you will get to receive that blessing. Have a wonderful day.